How's it going guys? Welcome to Luis Tutorial TV once again. We're going to go ahead and review Panda Antivirus 2019, the free edition. Now here I have it right here. And you can get this going to uh, www.pandasecurity.com and then click up here where it says free antivirus and that is how you can download it. And here we have it right here installed and it, they have a pretty picture here of the mountains some mountains somewhere out there pretty with a lake down here or a river cool so they're making it look nice to start off with so it says your PC is protected and you can see a summary here we're gonna go ahead and click on view summary this is a free edition so license status activated I just barely installed it so threats block says zero let's go back so we have a scan button here we have an antivirus button a virtual private network button VPN I I imagine this one here since this is a free edition I don't think we're gonna they're gonna let us use this unless you get the paid version you can look at your devices support so they have a support button here that's good uh, USB protection process monitor rescue kit and to view your products and you can add more stuff here let's go ahead and start with the scan button so it looks like they have three different types of scans. Critical areas, scans memory, currently running processors, cookies, etc. Hmm, active viruses. Only takes a few minutes to complete. Let's go ahead and test that one out real quick. There it goes. What's cool is right here you can shut down your computer upon completion. You can also view more details. So it's scanning here and it's probably going to take a while. I have a lot of files on this computer. Now I noticed that they call it Dome now, right? Panda Dome, critical area scan. If you look over here, see there's a dome there. That's crazy. It's changed a lot since the last review we did in 2016. And there is a menu button here. So right now it's scanning. So while it's scanning, we're going to take a look at more stuff here. Um, let's look. Let's go back here actually. Scroll down. Let's take a look at the antivirus button here and see what that does. So basically you can do scheduled scans. That's cool. A lot of free antivirus don't have the scheduled scan, which is cool. So add a scheduled scan. Let's name it just test. Let's do it weekly on Sunday. This is a good time at 10. That works. The entire PC or critical areas or other items. So my entire PC. Okay. So that's cool you could do a scheduled scan so it'll do it for you cool so I like that let's go back let's take a look at VPN I think you need to get the pro edition to get that uh, you must have the latest version installed oh, it looks like it might let us do it let's try it real quick let's say yes here if the free edition lets you use a VPN for free man I'm gonna give this antivirus a good review All right, it's installed now, guys, and it looks like they only let you use 150 megabytes. Um, server, you could choose. Let's go ahead and test this out. Let's go through Germany. Country selection feature is not available in your version. So, like I said, as I suspected, you have to upgrade to premium to look to to be able to use other features here. So it's set for automatic. You can only use 150 megabytes, which is not a lot. Let's go ahead and connect and see what it does. It's connecting. Connected to USA. Really, when you're using, because I live in the USA, if, you want, if you're going to use VPN, you want to connect to a different country. But there it is. It's connected. Internet has been established. Let's go ahead and test this out. Let's go to what is my IP address. And see what pops up. It's coming up as so VPN should be working now. It's coming up in New Jersey, and I don't live in New Jersey, so it's working. Cool, it works. It's free, not bad. Let's go back to uh, Panda here. So cool, it works, but you can only use 150 megabytes, and I already used one. Check it out. <laughs> All right, we know it works. Let's go ahead and disconnect from it. And let's go back 
and take a look at our scan and see how it's doing. It's barely at 26%. Like I said, it's going to take a long, long time. All right. Because I have, a, depending on how much files you have on your computer and how fast your computer is, this might take a while. If the critical one is slow, I can imagine the full scan is going to be really slow. Now, I don't have any viruses, not that I know of, or spyware or anything. But at least we're getting to test it here. What I'm going to do is cancel this one so we can test out the uh, full scan. So I'm going to cancel. Let's go ahead and see how the full scan works here, how it performs. So there goes the full scan. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And the other type of scan that we have here is custom scan if you want to redirect the program to a custom folder like right here. All right, guys. Let's take a look at the rest of the features here. So VPN works. You only get 150 megabytes. Let's take a look at my devices. Protection for other devices. Let's go ahead and take a look here. You might have to get the premium version to do that or download it on your Android or iPhone, the app. I think that's what it's starting. Yep, it's the app. So, so they also have it on an app you can get. You can see that there. Let's go back to our Panda here. Uh, my devices. Okay, that's going to take us back to there. All right. So you can add devices on there. They have support. Um, you can contact technical support by upgrading to pro. If you have the free version, you can only go to the support forum. And trust me, guys, forums kind of suck. I actually like technical support better, but they don't have technical support for the free edition figures, of course, right? Let's take a look at USB protection and see how that works. I do have a USB connected on there. I don't know why it's not picking it up. Hmm. But it they, looks like they do vaccinations on USB drives, which protects them. But I do have a USB in there. I don't know why it's not picking it up. Hmm. Let's, let's try this again. Hold on. Let's see if it picks it up. There it is. You knew USB connected. We're going to say scan now and see what it does. So it's just going to scan it real quick. So you can scan your USB drives with it, which is pretty easy. Oh, but it looks like it's not picking it up right here. What the heck's going on? I want to vaccinate it. Our full scan is barely at 1%. Hmm. So I've been trying really hard, guys, and I don't know why it's not picking up my USB. You did see the message at the bottom there saying... Uh, if you want to scan it right so it did pick it up but it's not picking it up right here for the vaccination so that sucks all right let's look at the process monitor right here you could see what's running what's going across the internet what gets blocked and all that good stuff looks like there's a detailed report here we could take a look at which gets into more uh, details here cool so that's cool you can go in there and block stuff if you want to block it so another tool that it gives you this four process here accessing the internet so that's pretty cool how you can see all that stuff and that is about it guys let's see what the rescue kit is uh, so if your computer is locked by a virus you can create a, a rescue USB drive and you can detect uh, advanced viruses let's take a look at that real quick so it's called the Panda cloud cleaner and it sets up as a separate software here as we can see it's installing right now Basically, it's, it says right there to detect advanced viruses. With Panda Cloud Cleaner, it detects what traditional viruses scanning can't detect. Let's take a look what this does. So there it goes, guys. The Panda Cloud Cleaner. And it uses the internet connection. And there it goes. It's actually going, uh, it's going pretty slow. Just like our other scan. Here's the full scan that I had started. So the scans take a long time, I imagine. But if you have, if your computer is really, really infected, I recommend you use the Panda Cloud Cleaner, guys. Now, like I said, I don't have no viruses on my computer. But I recommend you do what I'm doing exactly right now. If you're going to go with Panda, do a full scan as I'm doing right now. And do the Panda Cloud Cleaner as I'm doing right now also. Both at the same time. 
Now that would be your best bet to get rid of uh, viruses or any infections that are in your computer. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I will post more videos on more antivirus software. Let's go ahead and review this. I am going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Now the reason why is because it does not have a... I've seen some free antivirus out there. For example, I think Avast had a free antivirus that had what was called a sandbox where you can actually open up files inside of what's called this little sandbox and uh, if there's a virus in there it doesn't affect your computer. Also this one here doesn't have cleaning. I've seen other free antivirus softwares have uh, temp junk file cleaners on there that are free so if they were to add those things it would make it I would review it a little bit better I just seen better guys I've seen better uh, the, it's got a new look I gotta say it's not as it's not as simple as what it used to be Panda antivirus used to be really really simple but now they're I, I think they went a little too far with the uh, if I can open it here so I can explain what I'm saying I don't know, I can't explain it. I mean, the buttons are there and everything, but if they had a button saying scan now right here, it would be easier for for some people that are, you know, using computers for the first time, you know. It's not that easy for, for beginners. I mean, the buttons are there, but it would be cool if they actually had this button right here, full scan. And you can add it there, I guess. Yeah, you can. Can you? Because check it out right here. We can add it. Let's see if we can add it there. Uh, I don't know. There's an ad here. No, it's taking you somewhere else. Never mind. It's not really doing much. But like I said, if there was a scan button here, I would give it a better review. But anyway, that's my review. 3.5 out of 5. Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in my next video. But before I leave, let's take a look here. Here is the, uh, they call it the Panda Dome now. More than just a simple antivirus. But anyway, here's the pricing, guys, if you guys were interested in buying it. Kind of pricey. I would stick with free antivirus if I was you, but you know, um, if you want to have the extra perks and everything, um, that's how much it'll cost. Now we might make some free trial reviews on these guys, so stay tuned, guys. If they have a free trial, I will download it and we'll try it out, and we'll see how it does. So see you soon in the next video. Have a nice day.